so here I have a Arduino Uno uh, hooked up to an Arduino Nano. I'm trying to establish I2C connection between them. Um, so you can see uh, A4 is uh, is the data line, and A5 is the the orange uh, is the clock line, and uh, so right now it is working. Uh, this is hooked up to a analog discovery scope, and uh, you can see it is uh, getting the data from the master, which is the Uno, to to Nano. But now uh, I have the the data line uh, connected uh, to the to this to the ground uh, line, which this whole line is connected on the breadboard, and, uh, and then I have a a short wire that uh, connects up to A4. So this is incoming from the master, and as you can see the. The, the data uh, on the scope, the, the signal just uh, disappeared. Um, so this is telling me that uh, you, so it's no longer receiving, it's, it's no longer receiving any data. Uh, this is telling me the for I2C that um, the, you, you can't, you have to watch out about uh, how you hook up the wires so I think the the signal is being propagated through this whole whole line and it, it just disappears now that I move the the incoming data line onto one of those uh, five pin rows uh, so right here incoming here and then this is connected to to the data line, so now the the signal is uh, still there because the the signal has to traverse like a, a lesser distance as opposed to this whole line here, and now it is receiving data. As you can see, the the transmit button uh, is. Uh, of the serial which I print to the screen, it, it's it's flashing. That means it's getting data from I2C. So this is the final objective. I have three Arduino Nanos uh, hooked up to a uh, Arduino Uno, which is the acts as the master, and these three are the the slaves, and uh, each of them has a a unique address on the I2C line. Uh, so I have I, I I'm pushing messages from the master to the to the slaves and the slaves will displays the message it receives. So I have three COM port uh, windows here, uh, patio windows open here. Um, so you can see slave one and two and three and uh, the message number it is receiving at the current moment. So every time a message comes into a board, it will change the, the state of the LED. So if it were on before, it will turn off uh, at, the, at the arrival of the next message. So, so the whole point of this is to, to set up a, a multi-slave I2C line. So what I've noticed is uh, you have to play with um, the configuration of your wirings. Sometimes it doesn't work uh, as, as I ran into issues with connecting the, the common uh, data and clock line here. And so the signal is disappears. Um, yeah, so here you go.